Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly readings for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Gemini. Gemini, please keep in mind that this is your monthly reading for the month of May 2022 and it's a general reading so please pick it up what resonates with you, please leave the rest for others and I can see there are a lot of new subscribers on the channel, I want to welcome each and every one of you. You all are personally welcome to be with me on this journey of Delhi Tarot and being with me, my other subscribers. They are my family and they really interact with me like a family. Okay, let us see what do we have in the month of May. Now, people who are uh, looking at the reading, please know it's a general reading. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others. And if you want to connect with me personally, my email ID is mentioned in the description box below. Please know that whenever you are contacting me for any personal process, those are the paid processes. So please connect with me with that understanding. I really appreciate that. Let us see what do we have in detail. What do we have in detail with your energies for Gemini? for the month of May 2022 okay I'm looking for a flyer and you have anxiety Gemini I'm not going to pull more for this I feel that there is a lot more to this card today okay let us see what angel messages do we have for you today what angel messages do we have for you today angels and spirits message for my dear gemini please and we have asked help from others and this is quite justifying this particular card of energy okay now let me see what is your weekly saying and i'm going to clarify your weeklies with tarot in the end i'm going to pull out your crystal oracle as well let us see what do we have in your weeklies. What do we have in your weeklies? Sun, Moon and Rising, Gemini. What do we need to know for you? What do we need to know for you? In week one, we have two of Michael. Week two, we have the world. Week 3, we have the High Priestess. Week 4, we have 8 of Gabriel. Okay, let me see. What do we have in clarification with the Tarot? Clarifying week 1. Clarifying week one. We have nine of wands. Week two, we have the fool. What a beautiful card combination. The world is an ending and the fool is a beginning. What a beautiful sequence, Gemini. Okay. Now with the High Priestess in week 3, I'm going to clarify your week 3 and it is 10 of Wands and a Flyer Knight of Cups. Okay, with week 4, we have 5 of Cups. Okay, now if I see your energies, Gemini, something is causing you sleepless night, something is causing, causing stress to you, something you are really, really concerned about uh, in your life. For very few of you, it's the relationship and for most of you and for a lot of you, it is going to be your money, career and finances. Now, when you have this card of anxiety, it says that you actually seek help. That is why I was telling you that there is something very, very important with this card. You are very, very hesitant to seek help from others. 
you don't want to share much with people you don't want to show that you are going through some anxiety you don't want to show that there could be an emotional bag baggage you don't want to share maybe there is some guilt what i am sensing maybe you are feeling bad about something maybe you don't want to share what you are going through but there is something more to the situation either you have done something which you don't want to share with your near or dear ones or you are stressful about a relationship it could be personal professional both and for few of you it's a money situation also now what i am sensing especially for that group of people who are getting anxiety because they want to share something they feel they are guilty they feel they are they have you know they have uh, done something wrong please know that accepting is also very very difficult and it's a power it's a courage the more you are courageous the more you will be able to share that yes you have done something wrong and this is for very small group of you there is no harm if you are accepting and if you feel that accepting something is going to relieve you try to do it on priority basis try to seek help i think you need professional help for sure you can you know you can connect with coaches mentors counselors readers if you want to share anything important which you want to keep confidential which you want that the world should not know so that that gives you some peace some calm and some relaxation but you definitely need that and people who are facing any anxiety uh, especially for your money career and finances please know things are definitely going to improve and relationship wise i do see there are some challenges and i'm going to come back to this just in a while now even you have an angel message which says that it's time for you to seek help from others there are a lot of help around you when you have the card from angels the angels themselves suggest say advise it's a spirit message that you help you already have help around you in the form of people in the form of your well wishers if you feel it's a professional uh, concern you can definitely speak to your mentors you can definitely speak to your seniors there and people around you and in personal life there there are family and friends but you definitely need to share what you are going through this is very very important for you you have help around you don't hesitate in seeking that help for sure it is recommended that you take help now in week 1 you have two of michael it says it will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem find a compromise this could be this situation that you are in a high dilemma which option to choose which opportunity to choose which way to choose and it says that maybe the judgment assumptions getting into overthinking over analyzing the concern can also cause anxiety and stress this card two of michael is being clarified by nine of wands nine of wands is a card when you don't trust anyone apart from yourself and in many situations you even don't trust yourself now when you don't trust yourself or when you don't trust anybody else it will become overburden it will become over responsibility you already have this card coming in week 3 look at the sequence of your card this is week 1 that you are having 9 of wands in week 3 this 9 is getting converted to 10 of wands and 10 of wands is a clear card of you taking more and more responsibility on your shoulders more burden on your shoulders that kind of responsibility or burden which is getting very very heavy on you and you are not capable in terms of mental emotional bandwidth to to take everything on yourself mentally emotionally physically it's difficult for you to take so much on your shoulders because we all are human we have our capacity to take it on ourselves so this is something you need to keep a watch it is clearly coming into your card now nine of nine of wands is a situation wherein you even doubt on people around you you don't trust people more and more to this you even start trusting yourself 
so this is a situation wherein it is bringing more anxiety to you it is bringing more stress to you since you are not able to trust anyone you are not able to share anything it is important for you to share to start seeking help help is already around you don't be hesitant don't be you know don't take a back seat when you feel that yes you need to take help we all take help at each and every point of our life when we feel that yes we need to take help or we seek help it is calling you to come out of your shell to come out of your cocoon and request for help i want to offer one help here if you feel that after reading this or after seeing this video if you need you want an angel message from my side put a comment to me put a message to me i will definitely give you a customized angel message for sure that's a promise from my side i'll do that for you the moment you say that i need my angel message that is going to be the help from my side so people are there to help you people are there to support you but it is important that you call it out that yes i need to have the help i need the help and in week 2 you have a very big energy coming to your life that is the world the major ending to the obstacle challenges you know gaps problems issues are coming to an end you are that cycle of delays obstacle challenges coming to an end wonderfully in may mid and you are not only ending with a cycle ending with a chapter the difficult chapter of your life gemina you are also beginning a new journey what a beautiful card combination you have you have the world you have the fool you have an ending without gap you have a beginning for sure it says a very happy ending coming full circle spiritual growth and inside the moment you will start exploring people's view perspective different way of looking life you will feel that there is something else to your experience there is something else to your exposure there is something else to your own insight try exploring that thing that is really really going to help you out in week 3 you have the high priestess which says there is something more to the situation which exists but it is not visible to you it is not available to you you are not aware that something more to the situation is there something is hidden from you in this situation it is recommended that you trust your intuition the most than any other time you trust your gut feeling the most you trust your inner voice the most and you start recognizing what dreams are coming to you and what is the meaning of those dreams try to relate it to the to the questions which you have in your mind and heart because your psychic power your psychic information is going to be very very valuable in week 3 the high priestess says that the psychic information is going to be your guiding force for next few days and it says powerful psychic insights reflection and meditation that provides valuable information be at peace allow the anxiety to go away the more you are at in peaceful frame of mind the more you are calmer better the information you are going to receive for sure this is being clarified by 10 of wands which i have already told you that the extra burden the extra responsibility if you are not sharing is going to come on your shoulders and you also have a clarifying card that is knight of cups which says that professionally personally there is going to come a moment if you feel things were stagnant things were not moving communications were stagnant things were not moving things will start moving by may third week for sure because you have knight of cups expect people to come out on their own also or try to witness that they are coming out to help you out for sure in week 4 you have eight of gabriel it says a great deal of activity sudden and immediate results important communication that's a wonderful message a very much a message of relief that you know the the good communication is going to start not just from week 4 but by end of week 3 the communication is going to start at a very speedy level it is going to be an action oriented week and you will see that there are sudden changes there are there are you know immediate things happening things which were which were blocked which were stagnant not moving from quite few days or maybe a month or so time you will see a sudden action is coming sudden movement is coming 
and there are a lot of activities happening from May and to you know to probably to June first week as well this is being clarified by five of cups five of cups is certainly a card of disappointment but it also gives a great hope and it says that you feel the situation is lost the opportunity is lost the job is lost the money is lost but there is more coming to you look at the cups here you are not aware at your back that there are there is more to the situation you are only looking at these cups which are which are just you know lying down on the floor here but then you have good opportunities at your back you have good money at your back you have good space at your back you need to recognize that what is it you are not seeing what is it which is actually available which exist but you are showing your back to it try to look 360 degree around the moment you will see things 360 at the round you will come out of your disappointment you will be more aware you will be more conscious and then you will see that not everything is lost the best thing is yet to come because you have the world the difficult cycle getting over and you have the full fool that's the new beginning coming to you and the fool says you need to trust on yourself you need to trust on divine but you should be precautional you should take all precaution while you are taking any risk the risk should be calculated risk try to take calculated risk don't close your eyes and just move like that and don't, just don't take decisions like that be careful be take precautions and then take all the necessary steps which you have to take for your own growth and betterment you have a very very powerful reading today gemini your first card was telling lot of things today let us see what do we have in your crystal oracle today which crystal is going to help you out and what is the message related to that crystal and it is turquoise what a beautiful crystal i love this crystal you can always retain this crystal it you can retain it in a form of a stone pendant bracelet or a ring it is a very very turquoise is a very very popular crystal used across the globe it says spiritual path your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary changes in life that is what the fool is expecting you are expected to make the necessary changes movements and beginning in your life so that you live on your life purpose and you are at least true to yourself and to your belief system so dear gemini that was your wonderful monthly reading do let me know that how you resonated with this reading and i will see you next time very soon be blessed